Hey guys, Tayura here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've already been here, thanks for coming back. So it is that time of the month, you guys. It is time for me to share with you the products that I have been loving for the month of May. If you are new to the channel, at the end of every month, I share with you guys the products that I have been loving. I also give you guys updates on products that I've tried throughout the month. This month, I have a bit of makeup, skincare, body care, and fragrance. So if you are interested in seeing them, please keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video and follow me on instagram and with that being said let's jump right into the video all right you guys so starting with makeup i literally have two products this month the first one that i have is a new concealer that i have been really liking this is the giorgio armani luminous silk concealer this has been around for a while but it is pretty new to my collection this is what i would call like your everyday concealer it has like light to medium coverage it is buildable i usually go in with one layer let it sit blend that out and then go in with a second layer let it sit and then blend it out again and that gives me pretty decent coverage for like a really nice everyday look i did use it under my eyes today and as you can see i have just enough coverage under my eyes i really like the formula of this concealer it is very very lightweight if i'm supposed to compare it to anything in my collection in terms of consistency it reminds me a lot of the huda beauty concealer this shade that i have is 8.75 i don't know if i mentioned that but this is more of like a brightening shade so i usually use this under my eyes if I'm using it on its own and then on my forehead, I'll go in with like my Huda Beauty Concealer just because this shade is more on the brighter side. And when I use this under my eyes, I don't need to mix it with anything under there. This is a really nice lightweight concealer. If you're looking for something for everyday wear, if you prefer a more light coverage, if you prefer your skin but better, you'd really enjoy this concealer. It wears extremely well and so far it's been pairing really well with everything that I've tried it with. I did use it under my eyes today with the Charlotte Tilbury powder and the Givenchy powder if you've tried this concealer let me know what you think I really like the shade 8.75 because even though it gives brightness I feel like it does a good job at concealing once it dries down like it's not super super bright but it's just a little bit too bright for my forehead I prefer this shade under my eyes if you've tried this concealer let me know your favorite shade in the comment section down below but the formula I really really like it I think if you like the Huda Beauty concealer you'd really enjoy this one as well the next makeup product that I have is the lashes that i'm wearing today y'all know i'm obsessed with my sephora collection lashes in the style charming but this one i just have to bring this back i've talked about this before but lately i've been really obsessed with this lash this is from velour this is from the plant fiber line this is the hemp derived lash 100 vegan 100 cruelty free and this is in the style a new leaf one of my favorite lash styles from velour it literally looks like i got lash extensions it's not too long not too thick this one is in my top two next to my sephora collection lashes let me see if i can open this one and show you guys what it looks like up close so this is what the style a new leaf looks like i feel like it gives just enough volume without being too long too bulky if i should compare this lash to my sephora collection lash i'd say the sephora collection is a little bit longer and the shape of the sephora collection is a little bit different towards the end right here that's where you get a little bit more volume or a little bit more length with the sephora collection but if you love the sephora collection you are going to love this one from velour and i just had to bring this one back because i've been really loving this this month i have one more product that i have been loving from velour this is the lash applicator i just love how angled this is i don't use it to apply my lashes i love using it to press my false lashes to my natural lashes to kind of blend the two together usually i apply my lashes with a tweezer and then i go in with this from shop miss a it's also a lash applicator but if you look at this side by side to the velour being that the velour is angled it just makes it so much easier to get in there and press the lashes together so i've been really liking this one i believe you can get this from sephora you can also get the velour lashes from sephora i'll have both linked down below but if you're looking for a good lash applicator or something just to blend your lashes together this one right here 10 out of 10. so for skincare i only have one product this month y'all know i don't switch up my skincare routine like that i try one product at a time and this month i've been trying a new hyaluronic serum it isn't a new serum it's like a new formulation this is from the ordinary this is the hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 i've been really enjoying this serum i'm not new to the hyaluronic acid serum from the ordinary i do love the formula of that serum but they did give this formula an upgrade comparing it to the 
old formula this one is a lot more lightweight on the skin the consistency is a lot more liquidy and this one now has ceramides in it if you did not know ceramides help to maintain a good skin barrier as you can see I have quite a dent in this serum I've been using this all month and I haven't experienced any irritation just like the old formulation this did not break me out it is fragrance free doesn't irritate the skin just a great affordable product if you're looking for a affordable option for hyaluronic serum if you loved the old formulation I can still see you really enjoying this one as I said it's a lot better it's gonna leave your skin feeling plumped hydrated I personally like to apply my hyaluronic serums on damp skin that way it absorbs into the skin better and so far I've been loving this one for hair care I have two products the first one is from melanin hair care both products are from melanin hair care but the first product is the multi-use softening leave-in conditioner I've been really enjoying this I don't know why I have not tried this sooner y'all I broke my pump I'm gonna have to switch it with like another bottle or another pump or something but I've been really enjoying this leave-in I feel like if you have fine hair you'd really appreciate this this one I can use on damp and on dry hair and it does not leave my hair like super white I can apply this to my hair to get a refresh during the week and it doesn't get flaky it doesn't get white you know sometimes if you put too much product in your hair you can get that white residue I can use this two three times during the week and at the end of the week my hair does not look white and flaky I also mixed this with a little bit of water and a little bit of the oil just to see how many different ways I can use this product and y'all it is definitely a multi-use product so I've been really enjoying this one and speaking of this I've been also loving the oil from melanin hair care this is the multi-use pure blend oil I really like this for sealing moisture into the hair but it isn't a heavy oil so once again if you have fine hair you'd really Really appreciate this oil it's just gonna lock that moisture in without weighing your hair down y'all know I love my Olaplex oil and I'm not comparing the two I'm just going based off consistencies this one is a little bit thicker than the Olaplex but it is still a lightweight oil so I think if you want something to seal the moisture into your hair and you probably find Olaplex a little bit more expensive you'd really appreciate this one different oils and they serve different purposes but I do love this because I mainly use my Olaplex to seal moisture in so as I said I mixed it with the leave-in conditioner a little bit of water and just spray it on my hair in the mornings before I do my hair for work and I've been really loving it I do feel like these products are multi-use I did mix this in with some of my deep conditioner one day and it did make a huge difference in my wash day routine let me know your favorite products from melanin hair care if you did not know this is a black owned brand at Sephora so if you haven't tried them go ahead try them out okay you guys so jumping into body Body care last month I put y'all onto the Kiehl's creme de corpse body butter this month I have another one this is from youth to the people this is the hydrate plus glow dream body butter y'all the hype around this body butter is so real I'm gonna hydrate plus give you a gorgeous gorgeous glow it is I'm gonna rub this on my hand so y'all can see what it looks like it's not greasy, it's not sticky, it hydrates, it gives a beautiful glow without being too heavy on the skin. So I think that this is going to be a great body butter going into summer if you want a good hydrating body butter. The only thing with this body butter is the scent. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind the scent at all. It smells really good, but I wish it was fragrance free. If you are familiar with the Youth to People Dream Glow face masks, the yellow cream, the one that I used to love, I haven't used it in a while it kind of reminds me of that scent but a very faint version to that scent it is a pretty faint scent but you are definitely going to pick up on it if you're looking for a good hydrating body butter this one from youth to the people is a 10 out of 10 the consistency amazing I need to give you guys like an updated body butter and lotion video because y'all really enjoyed my first one and this is definitely going to be in that video I've been loving it y'all next product that I have the formula isn't new to me but the scent is I wanted to talk about this one because it's finally available in Canada and I was able to find it in stores this is the tree hut body scrub this one is the Moroccan rose y'all know I love the tree hut body scrubs but it wasn't available in Canada for years and they brought it back you guys I am so excited this is $12.99 in Canada and I do feel like that is reasonably priced in the States it's like $7.99 $8.99 depending on where you buy it so if you do the math I think that is pretty reasonable the only place that I was able to find this is in real Canadian superstore the first time that I went in store it was completely sold out but I knew it was there because I saw the price tag on the shelf I went back to the same location two days ago and 
and they are stocked. They have so many. I saw a bunch of different scents. If I remember correctly, I saw the vanilla, I saw coco colada, I saw peach sorbet, I saw the Moroccan rose, I think I saw watermelon, I saw coconut lime. They have a bunch of scents, you guys. So the Tree Hut Scrubs are definitely back in Canada and here to stay. So check your local superstores. I don't know if this is going to be in like No Frills or Shoppers Drug Mart, but you know if it goes in Shoppers Drug Mart, it's gonna be like $20. So I'd say check your local superstores. But I'm so happy that this is finally back in Canada. I love a good Tree Hut Scrub, y'all. This smells so good. It's like a sweet, champagne kind of rose like a spring summery kind of rose it smells really really good if you've tried this scent let me know your thoughts so the next body care product that i have is a fragrance combo if you love soul de Janeiro trosa 62 you are going to be obsessed with this fragrance combo so the first product that you go in with is the trosa 62 body wash this one is optional i feel like you can use any body wash and the combo will still hit i just love the trosa 62 line it's one of my staples for summer it just reminds me of home and then and you go in with the Trosa 62 body butter. This one is also optional. If you don't have the body butter, I find that a good fragrance free body butter will work. You can either use the Fenty body butter or the Notorium body butter. But if you're going to use a fragrance free body butter, you need to pick out the oil. This is why I said the body cream is optional. You pair this with your fragrance free body butter. You don't even need this. I only have this because I love the Churrosa 62 line. The last jar that I finished up, I said I wasn't going to repurchase this, but I just love it too much not to have it. It is pricey, but it is so worth it. Paired with your body butter, it is going to make the 62 line last so much longer. And that way you can kind of skip out on getting the body butter. And then you can go in with the body mist if you want to. If I'm being extra, I'll go in with the body mist. If you don't have the body mist and you have the perfume, this is what you go in with next. So this is the Sol de Genero Chirosa 62 perfume and you are going to layer this with YSL Libre. It sounds crazy, but these two together, something about the two that just works. This is the OG YSL Libre. I love this, but I personally prefer the intense version to this fragrance. So I was trying to figure out ways how to like use it up and as you can see, there's a massive dent in this fragrance and I know for a fact I'm going to finish this fragrance this summer because of this combo. If you want to sweeten up YSL Libre, try this combo. When I layer these two together, you don't get that super strong lavender that is in YSL Libre. Something about the two that just goes perfectly together. Y'all, every time I wear this, I get so much compliments. So if you have the two and you want to use up your YSL Libre like me, layer them together. If you don't have the perfume, you can go for the body mist. I'll have that linked down below, but this combo right here, 100 out of 10. And then the final fragrance that I have this month is the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This could have easily been one of my top 10 fragrances for life. The only reason why is because of the longevity. It's like white florals plus vanilla. It isn't your typical designer DNA. This smells so expensive. The only thing that I would change about this fragrance is they need to add a little bit more oils in here to help it to last longer, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous floral scent. Y'all know I'm not a huge floral girly. It has to be done right. It has to have that perfect amount of sweetness for me to wear it, and this is it. This is a very light, everyday, sweet floral. It's a little bit sugary. I do feel like there's a sugar note in here. Let me look up the notes for this and tell you guys. So it does have sugar in it. In the top, you have pear blossom, red berries, it's Italian Mandarin. In the middle, you have gardenia, jasmine, frangipani, and in the base, you have brown sugar and patchouli. Don't get any patchouli in here at all. It is just a gorgeous white floral with sugar and vanilla. I did not see a vanilla note, but I definitely get some kind of a vanilla in here. I wear this all year round. It is a great scent to wear to work. If you want something that is still gonna make you smell good, you're still gonna get compliments, but you don't want something that is going to give a headache to the people around you. This one is a great signature scent type of fragrance. I love pairing this with my Fenty body butter or my Josie Marin vanilla body butter and then add a little bit of the Nest vanilla perfume oil and then go over top with this. That really helps with the longevity but on its own 
I promise you, you're probably going to get like two, three hours max out of this fragrance. But other than that, I've been really, really enjoying this. I complain about the longevity, but it is a great, great fragrance. If there was an intense version to this, it would easily be in my top 10 for life. And I've been really enjoying this this month. But that is everything that I have been loving for the month of May. As always, let me know the products that you have been loving this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful everything that i mentioned in this video i will have linked down below for you guys don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye